Hey guys, Sydney here. So today we're gonna to do something a little bit different where I get to color grade your videos. Now on Twitter, I asked some of you to send me your clips and some of you have kindly shared your original clips with me. And so we're gonna color grade three separate clips, all shot with different cameras and in different situations. And what I wanna do is walk you through my color grading process. The editor of my choice is Premiere Pro and I really like using the Lumetri color tools to color grade. This is the color grading workspace that I've customized. And so let me give you a brief tour. On the left side of the screen are your scopes right over here is called the RGB parade and that's pretty much all the red green and blue data seen all across the composition right next to it is the luma waveform and that measures the brightness seen all across the composition basically this helps us adjust our exposure properly and gives us a natural contrast we'll get to these guys in a second and lastly down in the bottom left corner is our vector scope and basically this is going to be our guide to make sure that our colors are broadcast saved which is this hexagon thing over here and to also make sure that our skin tone looks accurate all right here we go the first clip. So this was sent from Dan Frulani and uh, he said he shot this on a Canon 90D with a CineStyle picture profile. So that's why this footage looks somewhat flat. So the first step into color grading is to actually color correct. We want to make sure that our footage looks normal before we add a specific look to it. And the first step into color correcting is to make sure that our exposure is adjusted properly. We're going to use this Luma waveform over here and what we want to do is we want to stretch this data to the zero line and to the 100 line. We don't want to go past 100 and we don't want to go past zero. Otherwise, we're going to see some clipping. And this is 8-bit footage too, since this was shot on a Canon 90D. And so we don't want to stretch and pull the footage too much. Otherwise, it's going to break down. So let's go over to our curves and adjust our exposure. So I'm going to start over here and bring up our brightness. And as I do that, go ahead and take a look at the Luma waveform and see what happens as I bring up the brightness. See how all that data is being pushed up? see how much I can push in. Uh, probably about over there. It's it's okay if it doesn't reach 100. The goal is to not go past 100. And so that looks about right. Same thing with the black levels. I want to stretch it down to close to zero. Something, something like that. Okay. So already the footage looks a lot better. So here's what it looks like before. And here's what it looks like after. Great, looks a lot more dynamic. Now the only thing that I see is over here in the RGB parade, our blue values are just a little bit higher than the rest. And so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna bring down this value so that it's somewhat balanced with the reds and the greens. So back to your curves, let's go ahead and click on the blue. So it brings up that blue line. And we're just going to bring this line down so it's somewhat balanced. And that looks about right. Uh, same thing with the red, there's a little bit of red over there. So just slightly down. There we go. Cool, great. So next what we're going to do is that we're going to adjust our skin tone. And to do that, I like using the color wheels. I'm also gonna use the vector scope down in the bottom left corner to make sure that most of my skin tone data is on this line. This is called the skin tone line. And basically, this is where we see the color of blood in everybody's skin. So it doesn't really matter what kind of skin type you have. Everyone has the same color of blood and that should fall along this line over here. To help us out, let's go ahead and isolate where the skin is. So I'm gonna to go to my effects controls. I'm gonna to go to the opacity section Section, click on the pen tool and we're going to create a mask probably over here on his forehead cool great let's go back to our scopes if you look down at the vector scope you see that most of that data is leaning towards yellow we don't want to do that I mean it's a good thing that it's kind of on the line somewhat but we want to push this data towards the reds a little bit more also back at the luma waveform his skin looks a little bit overexposed for his skin type it's going to fall between 60 and 70 percent and so we want to push this data to that area as well so let's hover over to our color wheels and make those adjustments i'm going to start with the mid-tones and uh, i'm going to click on this center point over here and simply drag it towards the reds and as i do take a look at the vector scope and see what happens to that data go all right so now it's resting on the skin tone line which is great now let's go ahead and bring down the exposure of the skin and let's start with the highlights just bring that data down to where most of it is between 60 and 70. i think that should look okay let's go ahead and take out our mask and see what our colors look like Cool. It's still slightly red overall, and I can see that in the RGB parade. The red values are just a little bit higher than the rest, and so we're going to go back to our curves and bring down the reds just slightly. There we go. Just 
some reds in the shadow, so we're going to lower that down. Cool. That looks pretty good. Cool. So last but not least, let's go ahead and add some vibrancy to our video. And to do that, we're going to go to the creative panel, hover down to vibrance and just bring up that slider slightly. Look at that. Looks pretty good to me. Here's what it looks like before. And here's what it looks like after. Boom. So first step is done. We have color corrected our video. And so the next thing that we want to do is to color grade. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to rename this effect. I'm going to call it primary because that is our primary color correction. And after that, I'm going to copy and paste that effect. I'm going to reset. So now that we have a new Lumetri color effect, and I'm going to call that secondary. This is where we apply our color grade. Usually when I color grade, I like to use LUTs. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Go to the look dropdown and uh, let's just go ahead and use one of my custom LUTs. Let's use my Summer Vibes teal and orange LUT. Very cool. So now it has that famous teal and orange look and you can always lower the intensity of the LUT if you want to, if you want it more subtle. That looks pretty good. You can also use other LUTs if you wanted to. Let's go ahead and try out my Summer Vibes Polaroid LUT. And here it has that really cool Polaroid look. And so again, you can either increase the intensity or decrease it. But I actually like using the uh, teal and orange look. So let's go ahead and go back to that. And I think that looks pretty dang good. And then the last step is to make your final adjustments. Let's go back to our scopes. The only thing is that down in the vector scopes, you see that we're getting pretty darn close to the uh, edges of the broadcast safe parameters. That's probably because of the red light over here in the background. And I can definitely see that in the RGB parade over here where the red values are. To change that, let's go back to our creative, go to our highlight tint, and let's go ahead and just go the opposite direction of our red down to the teals and blues. See what happens. There we go. So now we're not touching our broadcast safe parameters. And that looks pretty good. Here's what it looks like before. And now add in our primary color correction and to our secondary color grade. Boom. All right, moving on to the next clip. This was sent by Chris Gomez. And uh, this is actually some drone footage that I think he shot with a Mavic Air. So the, the clip just has the drone flying up and oh, that's a pretty cool art piece. Let's just start with there. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and start color grading. So let's go back to our scopes and let's go down to our curves. And just like before, we want to make sure that our exposure levels are adjusted properly. It's hitting pretty close to that 100 line. So let's go ahead and bring those values down. Right there seems right. The black levels seem okay, actually. So we're just going to leave that there seems like the midtones are a little bit high and so let's go ahead and bring those values down just a little bit more closer to 50 or just below cool all right over here at the rgb parade you can see our green and blue values are a little high so let's go to the greens and uh, just lower those values just a little bit okay blues Uh, great, cool. Uh, since we're not uh, looking at a specific person, we don't really need to adjust skin tones. But if you can look at the colors over here, the colors are just going past the broadcast safe parameters. And so we want to adjust for that. We could definitely use our HSL secondary uh, tool, but we can actually do the same thing in our curves. Uh, if you go to the hue saturation curves area, you can actually bring down the saturation of a specific color. Here it looks like the teal is going past those broadcast safe parameters. So let's go ahead and go to our hue versus saturation, which is essentially is how much saturation you want in a specific color, the hue. So let's go to our eyedropper, click on the teal, and then there you see some data points around that teal area. And all I'm going to do is that I'm going to select the center data point and bring it slightly down. And there we go. Uh, we can also bring down the blues a little bit more. I like to add a, uh, another value so that uh, when I bring this data value down, I'm not affecting the other colors in this area. So let's go ahead and bring that blue down a little bit more. Cool. That looks pretty good. Same thing for the yellows. Go ahead and click on the eyedropper again. And uh, it's probably it's probably this yellow over here. There we go. Let's go ahead and bring that yellow down a little bit. And now our colors are within broadcast safe parameters. So now our footage is color corrected. Let's go ahead and color grade our footage. So let's go to our effects controls. We're going to rename this primary. I'm going to copy and paste 
reset, rename this to secondary. And now let's color grade. So let's go to our creative panel and let's go ahead and pick a look. Uh, let's see what that teal and orange LUT looks like. Ooh, that looks cool. The teal and orange has a pretty good look to it because it emulates summer. Uh, and so I think we're gonna stick with uh, the summer vibes teal and orange LUT. And then finally, last but not least, our final corrections. Let's take a look at our scopes over here. Uh, and we can see our colors kind of going past those broadcast safe parameters. And so what we're gonna do actually, and you can also do this, you can make your final adjustments with a third Lumetri color effect. There's no right or wrong way to color correct, everyone's different, but I just wanna show you the different ways of color correcting and color grading. So let's go ahead and copy and paste our effect. Let's reset, and we're going to call this, oops. And we're going to call this our final. There we go. We're gonna make our final adjustments. Let's go to our scopes and uh, let's go ahead and go to our, so let's go ahead and go to our curves and uh, let's do what we did before to bring those colors back to broadcast color safe parameters. Let's go to our hue saturation curves, use the eyedropper, select teal. Let's bring those teal colors back. Probably about over here. That looks pretty good. Bring the teal back down as well. Nice. Okay, that looks pretty good. Do the same thing with the yellows. Looks like it's more on the grass now. So I'm gonna add another data point because I wanna bring this yellow down. Let's bring down the oranges. There we go. And uh, I'm make another data point. Bring down the red. Cool. So now our colors are within broadcast safe parameters. Let's go back to our effects. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like before. So here is our original footage. Here is our footage color corrected, color graded, and then finally our adjustments. Nice. And last but not least, let's go on to our last clip. This was sent by Vinayak Nair, and it looks like it was shot on a Canon camera, according to the, the video file. It doesn't seem like he's used a Cinestyle profile, it just looks like a standard picture profile on the Canon camera. Regardless, let's go ahead and start color correcting. All right, let's go to our scopes, and uh, let's make our exposure adjustments. Uh, let's bring down those highlights. About there, it looks like it's clipping. Looks like our black levels are on that zero line. Let's bring it up a little bit more just to see what we're working with. Okay, just slightly there. Okay, cool. I'm gonna bring up the mid-tones just a little bit. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. There we go. Let's bring down those highlights a little bit more. Okay. Looking at the RGB parade, the red values are a little bit high, so that's probably because of this book over here and this red over here. So let's go ahead and bring that down. There we go. That looks pretty good. Bring down the green values as well. And the blues just slightly. Let's bring down the greens a little bit more. Okay, so they look somewhat balanced. Maybe the blues a little bit more. There we go. Let's go ahead and correct his skin tone. So let's go to effects, click opacity. Let's make a mask around his cheek. There we go. Go back to our scopes. Uh, looks like his skin tone is on the line. That's pretty good. The exposure of his skin though could be brought down a little bit since he has a somewhat darker skin. For his skin type, it should be between 50 and 60, or at least somewhere in that area. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to our color wheels. Let's go to our highlights. Let's bring that down somewhere there. Okay, let's just see what it looks like. Let's take out the mask. Looks great. So already the footage looks a lot better. Here's what it looks like before and after. Looks pretty good. So now let's go ahead and color grade. So go back to effects. We're going to rename to primary. That's our color correction. Copy, paste, reset, rename to secondary. And now let's give it a look. Go to creative and uh, let's give it something moody. Uh, let's go ahead and do my moody LUT. Let's try, let's try teal and orange. Ooh, that looks cool. Ooh, I really dig that. Uh, I don't know if I need to make any other changes. Let's go to color scopes, 
everything looks good except for the blues. Uh, let's go ahead and add a third Lumetri color effect. Copy, paste, reset. I'm going to call this our, whoops, I'm going to rename. I'm gonna do final and then finally make our adjustments. We can go to our curves, hit the eyedropper, and let's click on, uh, looks like it's gonna be the blues. So I'm just gonna click on this blue section over here. I'm gonna bring down the blues, add another data point, bring down that blue. And that looks pretty good, folks. And uh, really the last thing is just the, um, it's just the luminance. Uh, I could probably bring it up a little bit more, but let's see. There we go. Nice. It looks like that blue is still, still out there. Let's go ahead and bring that down a bit. Very cool. That looks great. Uh, I could probably add a bit of vibrancy to it. So let's go to creative and uh, just bring up the vibrance slider just a tad, see what happens. Fantastic. So let's take a look at what it looks like before. Right, looks overexposed. Here it is color corrected, it's balanced, color graded, has a cool look to it. And now our final adjustments. Very nice. And there you go. That is my color grading process, color correcting and color grading three different clips. And so hopefully this video was somewhat helpful to you. And uh, yeah, if you guys want me to do more of these me color grading your videos, then let me know in the comments below and maybe uh, I could set something up. Maybe do a color grading video every Friday or something. Either way, let me know in the comments below. But I'm out of here, guys. Off to make another video. And so I will see you in the next one. Peace.